what's happening ladies and gentlemen this is the one coming at you with some more battlefield 2042 gameplay gonna be going over one of my favorite loadouts within battlefield that is my anti-vehicle loadout basically we're gonna be going over my favorite specialist to use weapon to use gadgets throwables all that fun stuff and also throwing in a few tricks and tips to take down tanks choppers even jets easily each match that you play within this game so sit back relax Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. If you don't like it, or if you like it, comment down below. Let me know what you think. And if you want to stick around, hit the subscribe button. We're pushing our goal to 400 subs, which is amazing. Thank you guys so much. So now, let's just dive into the video. All right, friends. So here we are within the Battlefield 2042 Specialist menu. So the real question is right off the bat is what is the best specialist to use to take down your enemy vehicles? And there's really only one answer to that, and that is Liz. Liz is insane. I cannot tell you enough how valuable she is on the battlefield during conquest breakthrough. Now, if you're playing a game mode that focuses a little bit more on infantry, it may not be ideal, but if you really want to focus in on taking down vehicles on the opposite team, I'm telling you, Liz is just insane. You basically have a rechargeable rocket launcher with Liz that is just insane. The G84 TGM is just wild. Now, granted, it doesn't do that much damage compared to the other rocket launchers like the m5 or the rpg but the thing is the regeneration rate of your rockets is roughly around 20 25 seconds and depending on where you hit it on the vehicle you can just do some crazy damage consistently and really even if you cause stress to the enemy vehicle wander them away from your teammates that is ideal you'll get the assist once it explodes you know later on the thing is the rechargeable rockets are insane against choppers tanks you know and you can really just use this aggressively from a distance too you can really get some crazy long range shots and you know i've made a video on Liz before but you know this is just a different type of build and it's just insane and i'm honestly addicted using Liz she's just amazing they gave her a quite a bit of a buff I would say you know a few months ago with with this rocket and so it is just brutal so highly recommend it now controlling the rocket it's gonna be a bit tricky just because you know you have to get used to the speed and the boost that you have in it because you know you can boost but you can't turn that well to the left or right once you use the boost so you're gonna have to be able to read your target based on the movements so study movements of choppers of jets because jets you're really not gonna be able to be able to chase them down uh, the jets will definitely be able to outrun you um, if you're chasing the, the target down. But if you hit them head on, that's great. If you hit them from the side, that's un outstanding. Uh, but you're not going to be able to beat a jet speed with this rocket, unfortunately. But that is that is a OK. Um, now, when it comes to tanks, I highly recommend always aiming for the back of the tank. But if you can get those long distance shots anywhere counts, that's great. Just try to study the battlefield and the map quite a bit where you can just navigate through the different landscapes with this rocket because you know you're really going to be able to do quite a bit of harm with this thing and just you know have fun with it it's great also the trait that you get with liz is really beneficial for taking out and locating different vehicles on the map basically armor hunter reveal nearby enemy vehicles that are damaged or hacked when the g85 tgm is equipped so whenever you have the rocket launcher out you're going to be able to see enemy vehicles through the map so sometimes if I'm not really seeing anything and I just have my primary weapon, I'll, I'll switch to my rocket so I can see around the map, see if any vehicle is hacked or damaged and it'll, it'll light up in red. And that is just ideal to mind your surroundings. You, you, you want to use that. So with all that said, Liz is just outstanding to use against enemy vehicles highly recommend it now when it comes to weapon gameplay it really just kind of depends but for me i like to be a little bit more sneaky and aggressive so when it comes to weapons highly recommend checking out the mtar 21 this weapon was a vault weapon wasn't too great but ever since the attachments got released recently you can really just put a ton of damage out quickly with this thing so we'll go over the attachments real quick so basically i use the 6ku suppressor the 6ku suppressor is great basically it just keeps you off the mini map but it doesn't really harm that much of your firepower and your other stats like accuracy range handling fire rate it doesn't really harm that much it keeps that at a steady pace which is great so you know you can stay silent you can stay off the radar which is important because if you want to focus on taking down vehicles like tank 
range jeeps you're gonna be able to you know want to get up close to them using your c5 which we'll get to in a second staying silent is just super important surprisingly for this build because you're just you're, you're gonna want want that mobility to move up close to your enemy and place some c5 down or even you know get a close range rocket hit in so highly recommend using a suppressor up top here we have the fusion hollow enhances target visibility this is probably one of the best scopes because you're going to be doing a lot of close quarter firing with this weapon you know it's really excellent to close to mid range long distance shots kind of a hard time with it but you can still make them count you know you can still get those range shots but you want to do a burst do not go full auto with your range shots it's just a mess um and then up top here once you unlock the thermal scope highly recommended as well it's the same distance of uh scope for the or with the fusion hollow but if you want thermal totally can kind of depends on what map uh you use you can use both these together and it's quite good down here we have the standard issue extended so you'll be able to extend the capacity of your magazine to 40 which is massive you know keep these both equipped oh, i'm sorry keep these both attached because uh, you never know you might be able to, you might run out of uh your standard issue extended and then just switch to your standard issue they don't harm any of your stats too too much uh, your handling will be taken down just a tiny bit with the extended mag uh, but that's fine because the extra 10 rounds is just worth it i promise you down here we have the lwg grip basically just increases your accuracy while moving and you want that because you're going to be moving a ton with this build especially if you want to get up close and personal with those tanks you want to always be moving with this build uh so increased accuracy while moving is just important. And if you also, you know, want to increase your hip fire accuracy, I recommend using the LS1 laser sight. Basically, it just increases your hip fire, which is good for those close quarter combat situations like in Reclaimed. Um, you know, I, I use this quite a bit in that, in that map and it is quite good. So this is basically the build. Highly recommend using this weapon. It's super addicting, super fun. So check it out. For your secondary, it's really just a personal preference. I mean, the G57 is still insane and OP. Um, if you want to get, you know, kind of like a sniper rifle, I would highly recommend using the M44. Once you unlock that three times scope, you can really just make those crazy long distance sniper shots, which is, you know, pretty addicting. Uh, down here, though, I've been using the BFP50, basically the Desert Eagle. It is just a crazy high power, heavyweight mid range weapon. You can basically two, like definitely two shot people with this no matter what. Um, but if you get a headshot in, it's a one shot kill and it is rate uh, the fire rate is super nice too with a 276 depending on what attachments you have uh, so highly recommend this you know get the attachments unlocked and you can really do you know a pretty intense heavy aggressive damage quickly with this weapon so one of the most important gadgets that you can use with this build is the c5 now obviously with the rockets here you can't use them because we're going to be liz so you can't use the other rocket launcher since you have the regenerating one but so you basically have a choice between the c5 explosive and the anti-tank mines now the c5 is just ideal personally i am addicted to these because you're always going to be overrun in battlefield if it's you know infantry if it's going to be tanks and jeeps whipping out that c5 quickly is just huge you know you're going to be pretty much fully silenced so you're never going to be on the radar that much unless if you fire fire your rocket or your secondary uh, so you can easily sneak up on tanks and just deploy your c5 on them and take them out um you know you obviously want to put down at least three on tanks depending on what their health is at which you'll be able to see pretty quickly if you hover over the health bar you'll be able to see the health of the tank so maybe put down one or two depending on where they're at but the c5 is just huge even for infantry it's great too so c5 highly highly recommended it. it's just a deadly deadly weapon on the battlefield now for throwables again personal preference i haven't really gotten too too much practicing with the anti-tank grenade but i haven't heard too many good things about it but your basic frag grenade is great against infantry and it does some damage towards tanks uh, but you know you could use smoke smoke is also good too because you'll be in cover and you'll be able to run up and place c5 uh, on your enemy tanks and take them out so i highly recommend using smoke or grenades it's really up to you i like to use the grenades because i just enjoy them quite a bit all right friends that about wraps up the video for today thank you so much for watching if you made it this far i really appreciate you guys hit that like button down below subscribe if you are new and also let me know what you guys think of this video in the comments down below i'll be streaming quite a bit more we'll be releasing a schedule here soon we'll be getting some battlefield gameplay and more fps gameplay on the way so take it easy guys i'll see you guys on the battlefield this is the wonk signing out